Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics. Today's car isn't a classic, it's actually a modern car that we're helping one of our valued customers by selling for, for them. And as you can see, it's a very handsome Mercedes-Benz from late 2018. In fact, it was registered in September 2018. It shows just under 19,000 miles on the odometer. It's had two services from Mercedes-Benz. It really is a very feature-packed version of the car. Uh, this particular car is a Mercedes GLC 250. It's a petrol engine, about a two litre. It's got a nine-speed automatic gearbox, and it's an AMG line, uh, and it's a premium model. And that really does refer to the very high specification. Now it's got, um, it's, it says 4MATIC, so it's a four wheel drive car. And as I walk around, I'll let you take in the lovely color and I'll show you the contrasting trim in a moment. It's known as Selenite Gray. And it has those AMG alloy wheels. This particular model has running boards it's got privacy glass in the back and very luckily it also has the full panoramic glass sunroof uh, which is um, split over the front and the rear passenger section of the car and it has an electric blind too. Now I've actually got a piece of paper here which runs through some of the features of the car and as I mentioned it really is extremely well appointed with lots of technology. I've had an opportunity to check everything and familiarize myself on how it all works. So should you come and want to discuss this car with me, I've got a good chance of telling you what's what. But I could just start by saying that being the premium model, it does take the standard car and it adds with lots of standard trim. And it drives especially well it does have lots of safety features as well as just comfort driving aids. This particular AMG line does give the car a particularly nice trim. It gives it sports seats which are electric. They have a memory mode where you can just open the car, hit a button and the seat will move to your desired position. It has heated seats. It has a very powerful lumbar support which you can adjust and with the driving aids I mentioned it does make it a very easy car and a very safe car to drive. Depending on who's driving and how they like their cars to park it's got an incredible feature which rather than just giving you front and rear parking sensors which of course this car has got it's also got a series of cameras which are fitted around the car and you have this feature, and Parktronic is what they call it at Mercedes, but it gives you this top-down view. So a 360 degree view of your car as if you had a drone over you looking down, showing you everything around you. So that helps park in tight spaces. It also has, when you put it into reverse, a set of suggested lines to follow. And depending where you turn your wheel, it will show you exactly where your car's gonna go. So it really does make this quite large car as easy to park as it could be. I'm gonna have a close look around the car so you can see the condition of it and I will park out and I will point out any imperfections. So the car's just had a wash, so as you'd expect, it's looking in good shape. There doesn't appear to be any damage at all to this rear uh, offside wheel, this back bumper area and corner is good. We've got one or two marks here. I've got a stone chip I noticed just there. And I've got one or two marks here and here. And that's obviously been caused by something going in the boot. Now these aren't drastic and often they get masked by people who decide to put a wearing strip across the top of the boots because they are susceptible to marks there. Um, it's very good on this back corner as indeed is the back near side panel. Can't see any issues at all with this rear wheel. Back door, running boards, 
very nice. I've noticed a very minor parking dent down low here. Can you see that? You have to sort of look hard to see that one, to be fair. There's no marks and scratches on the door mirror. The front wing looks to be in excellent order, and I can't see. There's, there's a very small mark there on the rim, but I can't see too many others. In fact, I can't see any others. Very nice through on the front bonnet. I can't see any damage. And I've got a parking. I've got a, uh, a small um, stone chip next to the Mercedes sign on the bonnet in the front. No damage on this front panel. Moving round to the offside wing again. Small mark on the alloy wheel rim. And I think we've got round to the other side of the car and I can't see any other damage anywhere, even parking locks. The car does appear to look very nice and straight. Well, let's talk about some of the features. This is one of my favourites. You've got shopping in your hands and you just want to get it in. You kick your leg forward. And as long as you've got the key on you, which I have in my pocket, we got an automatic tail release. Now we're used to automatic tail releases, but the fact you can just do it by waving your leg is quite impressive. Um, this is quite impressive because you've got good space in here. Um, you've also got a lot of space under there. In fact, I've tested it and it is possible to put the rear load cover straight underneath if you are needing to fold the seats down flat. It looks like you've got some sort of dog guard in the back here, your first aid kit and some netting to put over the back if you don't want to put in your load cover. Mercedes give you a little folding crate and of course the triangle all is underneath. I mentioned to you the rear load cover which is here and these cars are particularly easy to put down the back seats. I'll give you a quick demo. Look you just press that button and down it goes, press that button, down it goes, and you've got a rather large boot space. I believe it's about 1800 um, litres of space in the back with the uh, seats folded down. Um, this is the service information in here, logbook, and we talk about what's happened with the car so far. And it's two services and one quite recently, in fact, last month. So a wave of the leg again, and then the boot shuts. Very easy. Now, as I walk around the car, um, I'm gonna get round to the driver's side, and I'm gonna talk to you about the interior trim and some of the features the car has. It has a set of Pirelli Scorpion uh, correct tires all matching all the way round, and they're good order. In fact, they would have been checked recently at Mercedes. Now inside, these cars really are very plush. These, this is the electric uh, seat adjustment I mentioned. These work the folding mirrors and the windows and you can release the boot from inside. And there's some cubby holes for drinks here. And if I want a bit more space, I just pull that seat back. And as you can see, there she goes. Put it right back so we can have a good look at the dashboard together. Okay, that's how far the seat goes back. We have a sit inside and we'll talk through the cockpit of the GLC 250. Now we've got like a, a black ash uh, accent colour here, which does look very smart inside. The Mercedes just clicks into space when it gets into the middle. Just listen. There we go. Real quality touches. Like with a lot of modern cars, we've got our screen here. Um, we've also got um, the ability to control all the media and the function through here. We have a dynamic setting if we want to be sporty, sport plus, we want to be economical or normal. Um, we can turn the stop start off. We adjust volume here. We can turn traction control off quite easily and we can easily switch over to manual mode and that gives a uh, driving experience where you're changing gears and of course the Mercedes famous flappy paddle which is very derived from Formula One. In fact this steering wheel if you can see it's got a flat bottom to it very sporty in fact it's a beautiful steering wheel to hold and use um, it's fantastic. So um, the features that the car has which are very easy to put your hands on is a uh, 
a speed limiter, which is quick to set up. So if you do want to set it to a speed to hang on to your license a bit longer, that's easy to do with this stalk. This steering wheel is fully adjustable in, out, up, down. It's very hard not to get it into the right position. And it's uh, a lack of gear knob here. That's because it's done from this stalk over here. And this is where you go reverse, drive and park. And then I mentioned to you, you can switch over gearing um, to the flappy paddles if you want to change gear yourself. So we've got an information screen here with uh, a, a satellite navigation system. It has a DAB radio. You can put, if you wish, have a look in here. You can put your own media SD drive in there so you can play music from a hard drive. You can plug in your MP3 device and there's a USB port for charging your phone. You can link your phone to it and stream your music straight into the hi-fi system and multiple speakers uh, which sound exquisite. Up here is where we can put a pair of sunglasses and then beyond that we have some controls for lighting and opening and shutting the roof is by here. Um, a glove box, we've got the dealer folder and we've got everything we need for um, understanding all of the features of this car and they're all placed in here. We've got AMG floor mats We've got plenty of cubby holes. Now, you're seeing the car at the moment with the rear seats folded down. I'll show you when they're folded back up again. That's a very generous amount of space. We've got a nice dark headlining here. The car just oozes quality. I mean, it really does feel wonderful in here. Very much driver centric. There's some great switch gear, high quality. You definitely know you're in a Mercedes Benz. And as I look through this list of features i want to make sure i haven't forgotten anything um, climate control we've heard about electric folding door mirrors and seats we've spoken about the fact that the seats are heated and we've got aluminium wheels mp3 compatible uh, the tinted glass bluetooth system oh yeah and the parking cameras are excellent so there's a camera at low speed that shows you what's happening at the front it shows you what's happening at the back and then you have a button down here which says 360 if you can see that down there there's a picture of a, a camera let's get a little closer there it is if you hit that you then get this top down view which is well frankly marvelous it's amazing how it works um, the car is a pleasure to drive there are no issues there's no warning lights the car's been fully checked over in our own workshop and the car comes to you in excellent order. Now there's a big difference of what you'll pay buying a car from an independent dealer like me compared to buying this from Mercedes-Benz. In fact, a huge difference. This will represent excellent value compared to what this car would have cost you in excess of 40,000 pounds. So I can't really think of a great deal I haven't covered other than the fact that the car is available now. You're welcome to come and safely view the car and if you do have any questions, please get in touch and I'll be very happy to answer any of those. Uh, so to recap, this is a Mercedes-Benz GLC from late 2008. It was uh, registered in, um, I'm sorry, 2018 and it was registered in September. Just under 19,000 miles at the moment and the car has just been serviced by Mercedes. It's had two services since new and the car is in excellent order and it is ready to go. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you very much for watching my video today, folks, and I look forward to uh, answering any questions. We offer a full UK delivery service, and we can even help with a part exchange if so required. So thank you for watching the video. Um, have a great day. Thank you.